Welcome back to Speller Tutorial Services. In today's video, we're going to continue with our constructs. Today, we're going to construct the kite with a straight edge and a compass. We'll begin by drawing a line segment. And also know that the shape of the polygon we're about to draw the kite is a basic kite that you've seen kids fly at parks for for years. All right, we'll begin with this with this line segment. Let's label the two endpoints A and B. And now let's take out our compass tool. With the compass tool, let's place the pointy end on, let's start here on B. And we need to make sure that the radius of this uh, compass tool is set that it's more than half the length of, of AB. Once that's done, let's draw an arc. And then let's move over to endpoint A and let's do the same thing. Here at endpoint A, we draw the second arc and we're looking for that intersection and we're going to call this intersection here C and now let's do the intersection that we need here at the bottom end let's increase the radius of the compass and then let's draw our arc here on the bottom end and then let's move the pointy end over here to B or end point B and let's do the same thing by completing another arc again looking for that intersection and let's name this intersection here D. Alright, once we have our intersections, we now need to take the straight edge and we need to connect our endpoints to those to those intersections. Alright, let's begin here by connecting um, intersection C with endpoint with endpoint B. Alright, once that's in place, let's draw this line let's undo that let's draw this line segment here alright now let's go ahead and move over to A let's move over to A and let's do the and let's do the same thing here we're gonna go from A to to C All right, we're lined up on C. Now we're down here at A. And let's draw this intersection here or draw this this line segment so that they intersect here. All right, now let's connect now let's collect A and or connect A and D. All right, there we are on A, and let's swing it back just a bit for D. All right, and last but not least, let's reorient so that we can connect D and B. Alright, let's undo that. Let's get a little bit closer here. Alright, so that there is for D and B. Let's go ahead and clean this up a bit by getting rid of these arcs. And then we're going to add some markings to show some of the characteristics of a, of a kite. Alright, first let's go ahead and add another diagonal. This here is diagonal 1. I'm going to label that D1 here in green and then let's move our straight edge over and then let's go ahead and draw in uh, diagonal 2 so again let's line this up here at C and then we're going to extend our line segment down here to to D so let's get that lined up Oops. let's swing this over all right, so that there should be good enough for for D. All right, once we've drawn or finished our construction, let's go ahead and, and label this diagonal here, D2. And then let's talk about some of the characteristics. Once we have our, once we have our kite drawn, uh, the two adjacent sides are going to have um, congruent length at the top the two sides uh, or the two segments at the bottom 
are also going to have congruent length. Uh, angle A over here is going to be congruent to angle B. And these two diagonals, when they intersect, they're going to intersect um, creating a perpendicular. And that's going to say here for diagonal 1, the left side is going to be congruent to the right hand side. Alright, now that sums it up for our construction of a kite using both a straight edge and a compass. Thank you again for watching another video by Speller Tutorial Services. Please friend us on Facebook and also subscribe to our YouTube channel, both found under the same name. And as always, thanks for watching.